Hello, everybody. It is Salvador and Liam here, joined with... I'm Allie Christian. Allie Christian, our hometown musician. Allie Christian, how about you tell the people a bit about yourself? I am a 2021 Chesterton High School graduate. I'm currently attending IUPUI at the Heron School of Art and Design in Indianapolis. And I'm studying drawing and illustration and graphic design. Fantastic. And uh, so we've heard you're a musician. Could you tell us a bit about the songs you make, the sound you go for, and all that good stuff? I'd say as a general term, a lot of my music can be alternative to describe it. But I also, I have a history, a strong background in, like, orchestra. I was in the Chesterton Orchestra for eight years. So I think I've got a few songs that I kind of pull from there. Fantastic. I love the CHS Orchestra. How about you, uh, where'd you get your inspiration? I mean, obviously you're an orchestra, but where'd you get your inspiration generally for, like, music playing and wanting to go out on your own to make music? Music was always being played at my house growing up. Like, we literally even now have a speaker in our kitchen, <laughs> listen to music during dinner. It was always playing, so it's always been a very big part of my life. Fantastic. Did you get any inspiration maybe from, like, family members or support from family members about it? My grandpa was a musician his entire life, and so I guess being around him growing up, he plays guitar, he was in a band, and we actually we did a thing called pajama jam with him over That's christmas awesome. break we'd go and we'd play music all day and so i think he's definitely a big part of all of my music it's awesome you got supportive parents and stuff for that sure it helps a good deal and now you mentioned your music was uh, more on the alternative side now what type of uh, instrument do you play to get that sound normally i mean sometimes you can add like uh, electrics well obviously electric guitar and bass mm -hmm. but sometimes there's more like synth sounds that kind of all play into it but for my first single that's going to be out this summer the enabler it is actually just electric guitar and bass Sick. and drums awesome and so you said it's your first single coming out this summer yes do you have any other like music out right now or anything else you're planning on releasing yeah i've i'm gonna have three singles out this summer the enabler is may 26th um, until then is June 14th and Liars is July 14th and they will all be out on all major streaming platforms, Spotify, Amazon Music, iTunes, it'll be out everywhere. And I actually, I think two years ago, I released an EP of five songs. Fantastic. And so if someone wanted to find this music, they'd look up Ali Allie Christian. Allie Christian, yeah. Awesome. And, um, what was like some of the first stuff you wrote? Seeing as like music's been a thing since... I'm sure you started orchestra back in, what, fifth grade? Yeah. Yeah, so, like, what was, like, some of the first things you wrote in music you wrote? Um, I have a song called Gone, which is on my previous EP. It's called In My Mind. And it was the first song, I guess the first serious song I wrote. Obviously, like, little kids make up yeah. songs all the time. But uh, I wrote it when I was 13, and it is a piano. It has that orchestra background to it, and... Yeah, that was the first one. Fantastic. So as like a solo musician right now with three solo songs coming out, were there ever times you played with like a larger group or when you go out live? What do you tend to do usually? Uh, my dad actually plays with me. He plays bass and sometimes he plays guitar. And that is it everywhere I play in Northwest Indiana. Sometimes we do get to play with a full band and that's always a lot of fun, but... We do have a lot of fun, even just the two of us everywhere that we play. That's some cool stuff. I like the little family aspect of it and just the small little get-togethers and stuff. So would you say you enjoy playing more when you're with a group of people? Musically? Yeah. yeah. So is there? do you have any intentions of possibly in the future getting a band together, maybe in producing with a larger amount of people? Definitely. I'd, that would be a lot of fun. Awesome. Yeah, it sounds like a lot of fun. And... um. Seeing as you have, I know you have three solo songs coming out and some other like EPs, but what do you mostly play when you're like out if you're on a longer show? Um, normally acoustic guitar, just because it's the most, it kind of works with everything regardless of the genre. And I, a lot of the places I play are kind of like I play at wineries and restaurants <laughs> and so they don't normally want a full band. So yeah. I think acoustic works well. Yeah, that's sweet. Do you have any favorite places like you enjoy playing most where people are the nicest maybe? 
really all the places in town. I play at um, Running Vines. I play Aftermath. That's in Valpo. And um, the Chesterton Brewery, I've played there quite a few times. That's always a lot of fun. Awesome. Let's go NWI. Let's keep the hospitality rolling. Yeah. Do you think being from NWI uh, or Northwest Indiana has influenced your music in any way or has had any significant impact on your musical career? Maybe. I'm not totally sure. I don't, I don't know if I've ever thought about that before. I guess just all of my family lives here, so I guess it goes back to that family aspect of being surrounded by people who support me. That's had a big impact. It's awesome. And going back to inspiration, what like bands or other artists do you draw the most inspiration from? Um, 21 Pilots is my favorite band, so I definitely draw a lot of inspiration from them. But this new single, The Enabler, I've definitely drawn from Chevelle. They're another one of my favorite bands. I think stylistically, it kind of matches them. Yeah. It's awesome. And this is just a little silly, but I heard the word draw, and maybe go back to what you're saying, how you're going to school for art. Yes. And I was wondering, does your... So what you're studying in art and your musical career intertwine at all? Yes. A lot of my drawings go back to my music. I've drawn things that have lyrics in the background. I've drawn my guitar multiple times. And like I said, 21 Pilots is my favorite band. And I actually won. They did a poster contest last summer that I obsessed over. And my poster was a total of 27 hours oh, of wow. work. And I actually won the North American Grand Prize. Woo! That's amazing. Let's go. Good job. Thank you. That's some good stuff. Yeah, well, what do you have a particular message you have in your drawings or in your music that you want to like sort of convey? I don't know if there's an overall message, but it's, I guess for my artwork, it is kind of a reflection of who I am as a person. And I think definitely my songs are all things like either trying to work through or just who I am. So I think everything kind of goes back to who I am as a person and I guess just the environment, everyone I'm surrounded by on a daily basis. That's some amazing stuff. It's yeah. it's nice. It's sort of like a personal touch to the music. You don't really get with like maybe big bands or something. Yeah. yeah. And do you, what, what sort of process do you go through when you're writing, producing a song? I generally write songs when I'm supposed to be practicing <laughs> and I'll get stuck on a chord progression and then just kind of come up with the lyrics and the melody off of that. Sweet. And um, was there anything else, any like dates you want to shout out besides the obviously the days your songs are coming out about live events? Yeah, um, May 26th, which is the day The Enabler is going to be released on all platforms. I'm playing at Running Vines in Chesterton. Awesome. I think May 26th is the day that school gets out, so... All of yeah. Chesterton, yeah, everyone. All, yeah, everyone can go there. And Every Chesterton high school student over 21. <laughs> run over to Running Vines. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, I'd like to give a big shout-out to John from Bang Recording because he has produced all of my music and has just been a very big help in the process, and I'm very thankful for him. Sweet. Thank you, John. Thank you, John. And um, does that just about wrap it up? Is there anything else? Um, I think that's, that's about it. Okay, and... Running right after this, we are going to play a sneak peek of her new song, The Enabler. And on May 26th, don't forget to look out for Allie Christian on Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon, wherever you listen to your music for some music and more dates to come all summer.
I'm passive aggressive, I'm